Okay, so it's May 16th, and I have to make my husband his dinner. It is currently, what time is it? What time is it? It's 8.58. 8.58. Guys, we are here in Houston. We had a tornado today. It was our first experience seeing, I mean, our first experience. It was our first time experiencing something like that. And it was pretty crazy. And so now we're sitting here in the dark with candles on and stuff. And I'm making my husband's taco shows so he can eat. And I'm going to go shower and try to go to sleep, I guess. Because we're not going to have no AC or nothing. There's almost a million people here in Houston without no power right now. So we're not the only ones. And good thing it's not that hot outside. It's a little cool, so. <sighs> but yeah, this is our life right now, currently. Right now at this time. Um, here in the dark. The, you can't even see anything outside. Like, nobody around here has any power. No, pitch black. Scary. So, yeah. Okay, so I know y'all really can't see me. I probably see me a little bit because of the car outside, the light on. But we are still in the dark. It is nine something. Um, and we're still in the dark. The kids don't have school tomorrow. I just got a text message and they don't have school, which I'm not surprised because nobody around my area has light. A lot of people around us don't, don't have light. Um, ladies, loud. I have my patio door open so probably you can hear from other people. But um, who knows when the power's gonna be back on? Because honestly, there's poles and stuff everywhere. So, you know, there's a big pole right here in back where we live at, and I don't know how long it's gonna take them to bring that pole back up and get the wires back going. I don't know. I'm thinking it's gonna be a while. I don't know if they're gonna get out there right now, get the whole pole up and get the wires working. I, I doubt it. I say we'll probably be without light for two days. That's what I'm saying. But I'll give you a little update tomorrow in the morning when we get up because we're about to go to bed. So I'll see you tomorrow when we wake up. Good morning, everyone. It is currently 5.30 in the morning. And we still have no light. It looks like there's light out there, but there's not. I don't know why my camera's looking like that, but it's dark outside. <laughs> and uh, there's no light here at home still, so... This is how our place is looking right now. I did have candles on. As you can see, light back there, that's coming from my son's room. I have a candle on in there. I did have candles in my room, but I cut them all off already. But, still no light. All right, well, I just got up. I went back to sleep a little bit, and I just got back up. Because my husband got back home because he went to work, which is, I don't know why he went to work, honestly. But he went to work at 5 o'clock this morning. He just got back home. What time is it? 7 something? Uh, 6.45. 6.45. So I got up. Oh, what's up, Vic? Yeah, I still got no power. And yeah, oh, let's man. start our day off because we have no power. That's nice of you, man. I really appreciate it. My husband's friend just called him and said that we could go to his home, which was really, really nice of him. Uh, a lot of my family have lights, too. I could go out there to my family, too. But I don't really, really want to leave my place because it gets really, really dark over here. I have my three fur babies that I'm not going to leave. And, dang, that looks crazy. You like something out of a movie, look. See it? Let me show you this video that my husband... Just show me right now that he just seen. Hold on. Don't mind the cracks on the phone, but look at that tree on that house. Look at that. It got really, really ugly over here. And no lie, you would think that I didn't, that I would have had like a horrible night, like where I couldn't sleep. I didn't have a bad night like that. I can't even say that. I can't even lie. I, it, it wasn't bad. I, I, I had a good sleep. My husband said I had a good sleep because he said he put the little fan on me because he has a little portable fan <laughs> that he had on him, but he could swear up and down that it was on me most of the time. Yeah, baby, went to bed at ten. But it probably uh, was on me most of the time because I ain't gonna lie, I could, I could sit, honestly sit here and say I slept good. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm saying uh, we went to bed at, at what two forty something in the morning. I was already up, like I kept hearing too much stuff going on. So you know me, like I, I'm a, I'm a light sleeper, like like any little noise, like especially like stuff like that. I'm a light sleeper when I have to be a light sleeper. If it makes sense, like we didn't have no power. So, you know, I know people like breaking into cars and all, you know, all that stuff. So I'll be, you know, my car's parked literally right here, right in front of my balcony. So I was just like, you know, every noise I heard, like, let me see dude try breaking my car. Cause 
Because hey. there was people out all night. Like, you yeah, could hear people talking. Hear and right here we live at, there's like a busy, busy street. So you could hear the cars perfectly. You could you could hear everybody talking, like, because it's so quiet. There's no light on. Nobody has TV, no phone. Or, you know, there's there's no noise. So it was just like, you hear every little thing. So last night, it was saying... Um, oh, yeah, on we got the 729,000 people with no light. 729,000 people with no light right now, right now in Houston. Last night, it was what? It was almost a million. Almost like, a million, yeah. Like, yeah. It was crazy, man. It was to the point that it was just like, it looked wild. But yeah. What was that? See, you post that. Yeah, see. Yeah, it's crazy. That is crazy. Even though I woke up early this morning when my husband left, I woke up <clears throat> and he left around five fifteen. So like he left pretty early. I went to the restroom and brushed nah, my teeth and all. Five twenty five. And then I came back and laid down. No, no, no. I went to go get uh, the little. Uh, I went. To, I come. To, I came to get the little baby fan that my husband had left on me. Uh, because I could open my patio door and my son, uh, their room, they can't open their window. Um, and their room's like in the middle of the hallway. So I was like, I'm gonna take the little fan to them. So that's what I did. Then I laid back down and got my phone for a little bit. And then I like dozed off. And then I heard my husband get here. I know I heard the hunk, like beep beep, like he locked it. And I was like, no, nah, it can't be him. He's at work. Then I can't him coming down the hall. But, uh, I'll just see how when I get myself together and figure out what's going to happen. <sighs> Alright, so I just got out the shower. I just fixed my bed. I got to fix all this with this right here, but the treadmill. I'm just going to do some cleaning, guys, right now that I don't want to power any of that. My phone's supposed to die. I only have like 15%, so yeah. But I am going to um, do a little bit of cleaning, and then, uh, no, first I'm gonna make something neat first, and then do a little bit of cleaning. That's what I'm gonna do first. <laughs> but, uh, I just took a shower in the most coldest water there is, like, cold. I don't even know how somebody could take a bath in that. I, like, literally took a bird bath, like, I'm like, I need, I have to take a bath, like, I can't just not take a bath. And it was cold. It was really, really cold. We have to go out to Southwest. I know, that's what's crazy. This is no hurricane, I'll tell you. All Gen Z would be coming. Hey, Mom, you know, can I climb that tree? That's what the kids outside. I know, I'm, I'm just gonna cut the. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna cut the hair. I assumed after the two. <sighs> okay, so we had to drive like 25 minutes away just to get a coffee because nothing over there we live at is working. Okay, so we had to drive this far to come get a coffee. On the way back home, I'm gonna try to go Beltway 8 way. I'm not gonna go through the street way because it was like. There was no way we'd get through. So we're going to get us a coffee and um, something to eat right here from McDonald's. And then we're going to head back like towards the house. There's an Aldi's right here. I'm trying to think if I should stop right there and get a couple yep, of things. Yep, yep. So we can make for dinner. Just, I mean, I don't think we're going out to the We're going to stay there. Because honestly, I don't feel comfortable just leaving and leaving my house and something happening. like, And then leaving my cats. Okay, that's another big thing too. I don't want to leave my cats behind. So this is very, this will be our second day without no power. If we don't get power today, this will be our second day without no power. So uh, if we don't have no power tonight, we'll just stay there again tonight. And I mean, we're not the only ones. A lot of people around us with no light. So I'm thinking if I should go to all these. I don't know. We'll see what happens. All right. Finally pulling up. And it's currently oh, 10, 34.
this is the closest store to us that's open. We gotta get back to our side because I don't like driving in the rain. Cause like, it's gonna start pouring down again. So I got the boys something to eat and coffees and stuff. And um, well, all of us something to drink. And then, uh, who's that gonna up? And then uh, we thought I hit the corner store to get some chips so we can eat a sandwich between the girls. Well, I don't know if y'all can hear that, but they have a generator going on at the store. I ain't gonna miss out on no money. Cause there's so many stores closed. So that was a good idea for them to put the generator on. But yeah, we're back right here by the house. We're about to get the chips and then head back home before it starts raining. Cause I don't like driving when it's raining. And I don't know how bad it's gonna get again. So might as well stay safe and stay on our side of town. It's dark in that store too. So we made it back home. Now I'm just gonna sit right on the bed. We just finished our sandwich. I'm just enjoy the view, I guess, cause there's nothing else to do. All right, so it's a couple of hours later. It is currently 4.15 p.m. And we came right here to Kroger. This is a close store to us that has um, um, their doors open because there's a lot of stuff closed around here. Like all the lights are off everywhere around here, right? So. We came over here to come get a couple of things because we are going to stay at home. My husband was upset because he wanted to go get a hotel over in Galveston. He wanted to like leave, you know, and I'm like, no, we can't leave. We just got a new cat. We got four cats now. Our baby cat, the one we just got, we can't, he can't be traveling like that because he takes medicine. And, you know, I don't want to like vomit. It's just going to be like a whole big old mess, you know. And then I don't want to leave my place because I'm going to be scared they're going to try to break into our place because last night um, I heard that there was some guys out out up front up there where we live at and they were looking at our truck so that kind of scared me and i'm like oh my god man what about we leave and they try to break into our apartment or something that i don't know i just think about something like that because we got a lot of good stuff in my, my apartment for them to take and i'm not gonna pack everything with me just to go to a hotel for two days like i'm not gonna do that and it's kind of cool outside so we have our windows open and air is flowing through like we're good like you know we all we need is light like more light so we're gonna get some charcoal because we're gonna make some ribs outside and um just like camp out basically you know and i'm kind of excited about it honestly because I, I like this like survival <laughs> i don't know it might sound funny but i like this like survival feeling like oh my god you know how we're we gonna eat and i've been making it work i woke up early this morning we opened all the blinds all the natural light in i made uh made us tacos for breakfast because we had tacos from the night before but i wanted to finish that hamburger meat because i'm like um it's gonna go bad and everything in my refrigerator is gonna go bad too, you know? So that was another thing too. We're out here, we're gonna get ice because we're gonna pack up a lot of stuff in our big, big ice chest that we got. So we won't lose a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff we will lose and it's okay. I'll throw it all away, it's fine. It's, it's you know, this, this is just what happens, you know? So um, we're trying to get everything prepared and all, the, all our lighting and everything together before it starts getting dark. And when it gets dark, it's pitch black. Like I said, there's no lights that work over here and it's pitch black, like, everywhere the only thing you see is lights from the cars if they're passing by like that's it so um we want to get prepared you know just be on the safe side uh so my husband's watch side program right now the lights are even off 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 they're even off the light side program and there's like a teller at the at the door and they're letting a certain amount of people in at a time my husband and, and maya and angel just went in and it's dark inside there too you can tell they have like some small lights on probably i don't know but it's dark so that girl good too so i mean at least we have a store as close we come to and it's kind of packed because everybody's coming here because this whole area is cut off all the lights are cut off so this is like the closest food store you could say and i'm sure they're worried about losing all their mean everything too so i'm sure they're which i know they got generators all big stores got all big stores like this got generators um but i'm sure they're worried about losing a lot of stuff you know because they could lose a lot of stuff if it gets too hot they don't have no ac or you know they don't um sell all the meat and stuff i'm thinking i don't know i don't know well, it's me i'm just i'm just yapping so yeah let us get everything that we need here and go home and set up and i'll show y'all what our little setup looks like for tonight uh on our little camping trip okay this is our camping trip remember uh take it out
The power line, you see it? Mm -hmm. Look at the power line about to fall any minute now, dude. They working, it's gonna take some time. Man, if this is a real tree, I wouldn't have lasted longer, to be honest with you. Like, a, like an actual, like, like, it, like the, like, it, it was the real deal, but it was like an actual tree. It was like a baby small tree. Like, it was three tree. Look at gone. this, right? This don't even look like the community. I know, right? That's all just trees. Look at that. Look right there, this place. That dude's picking up that log. You see that? Yeah. Oh, the machine out there is picking up by hand. And they got so many trees over here, so you know it was a mess to here. Mm. Oh, about to cut that one right there now, too. Yeah, I know. So I was about to, it's just wild. There's just everything around here just don't even look like the community. Come on, they about to cut it. We've literally been driving around for almost two hours just looking for food. Like, I'm so over it. Right now, we're at that Costco. Thank God they got food here. We're just gonna get some stuff from Costco and go home. And then, you know, I was thinking about Baba Ginge. She was so scared. All right, well, I didn't share, but I cleaned out my whole refrigerator. I literally had to throw everything out. By the time I realized that I wasn't even recording, I was like, I already had everything done. I had my little girl helping me. Cause we literally threw everything out we kept like a handful of things literally and the meat that we have there i am going to cook that and the other meat and stuff that i had there in bags i'm just gonna throw it all out because it's just not good you know when it's already all soft and defrost it's not good you know mm -hmm.